What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and today we're gonna have another brief look at macros. So if you haven't already checked out my first video I did, which is Introduction to Macros and I worked with the Data Zoom macro for that video, I'd recommend doing so. Now what we're gonna be having a look at today is a shuffle delete or a ripple delete. So that's something that if you work in a lot of voiceover and you do in your own editing, you're most likely very familiar with that command. So let's have a quick look at something that would uh, be that type of workflow. I'm just going to highlight a selection over here. Now I've already mapped out this keyboard shortcut to uh, command delete, which is the same that it is in ScreenFlow. But if you haven't already mapped out that shortcut yourself, if you right click now, you'll see that we have the ability to delete time. And what that does is it does a shuffle delete or a ripple delete where it moves everything over to the left. So this is great, and I use this all the time, but I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like the fact that the audio or that range that I selected is still highlighted after I've done that delete. Because then what that means is that I have to do a Command D to deselect that range before I continue working. So let's take a look at creating a macro that solves that problem for us. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up the macro editor over here. Now we're going to click the wrench icon again, and we're going to open up our macro organizer. Now we're going to click new, and I'm going to call this uh, shuffle delete. And the first thing that I need to do here is I need to find the first action, which is delete time. So let's type in delete, and there we've got delete time. So let's add this. Okay, so we've got delete time added there. Now the next thing I want to do is deselect. Deselect all or deselect all on tracks. I'm just going to go with deselect all. And let's go ahead and let's add this. Okay, now I'm going to click OK. So now we've got our shuffle delete. Where is it? Right over here, shuffle delete. And it's got two actions. It's going to delete the time and then it's going to deselect. So I'm done with this now. We're going to close that up. But what I want to do now is I want to map out that macro to a keyboard shortcut. So let's go to our keyboard shortcuts again. And this time I'm going to write shuffle. So it's found it under the macros here. And now I'm going to enter the key. It's telling me that this already is assigned to something. And I'm going to go ahead and overwrite that, assign it apply and click OK. Now when I make a selection here and I do a shuffle delete or delete time, it's going to do two things. It's going to delete the time, but it's also going to deselect that range. Now that's much easier for me to use when I'm editing. That's another quick tip on a macro, and I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.